All right, everybody, here we are. It's Phil's Fast 15, the July 2nd uh, uh, edition. I think this is the fifth fifth show. Fifth show. Welcome to episode number five of Phil's Fast 15. You can find me here every Monday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Ustream, where I will be digging some songs out of the vault and bringing some cool stuff around. And uh, my name is Phil Johnson, philjohnsoncomedy.com, if you don't know who I am. And uh, welcome to the show. So we're going to have some fun tonight. It's been a great week so far. I know it's only Monday, but it's been a great week. Fourth of July is coming up. Happy Fourth of July to you. I hope you're going to go see some cool fireworks and stuff. And if you're from not in the U.S., happy Fourth of July anyway. Uh, do something. Have a, just take a day off just because. Just tell, say, because uh, I want to. Do that, you know. Especially because I got new fans. I got fans all over the world now. I got a new fan from South Africa yesterday, which I think is awfully cool. Very cool. So anyway, happy early 4th of July. It's been a cool week. My girlfriend is back from Singapore. Um, so happy to see her. She brought me this cool shirt. Look at this shirt. It's a little moped guy riding on the street. And uh, the print very low on the shirt, which is strange. Usually prints are up here, but it's down here. Uh, it's different. I like it. It's cool. We have a new member of our household, at least temporarily. We just got a new puppy yesterday. Awesome. So cool. He's an awesome little puppy. If you would like to see the picture of my brand new puppy, you can go to my Facebook page. I don't have the picture handy, but I did put the picture of the puppy on the Facebook page, uh, Facebook slash Phil Johnson Comedy. So go check out my puppy. He's awesome. He's very cool. He doesn't even have a name yet. We haven't named him yet, but pretty soon, hopefully, we're going to do that. So, uh, uh, philjohnsoncomedy.com, Facebook slash Phil Johnson Comedy. Anyway, let's dig into the soons here. Uh, the first song I'm going to do is a song from my first album called Ribbed for Your Pleasure, uh, which you can find on my website and buy for any price that you would like for the downloads. And it's a song called Chasing the Sun. And uh, it's kind of about, uh, always, it's about trying to reach a goal and always feeling like you're never quite there. And, and honestly, in the music business, it's always like that because you're never there. If you're ever there, then it's time to quit because there's always somewhere else you can go, musically and career-wise. And uh, when I wrote this song, it was just that kind of feeling where you're always chasing something that's always getting further away, or at least you don't have the power to get close enough to it. So here's Chasing the Sun. I stand here all alone Wondering where everybody went See how the time has flown Thinking what we had was heaven sent top of the world We thought that no one could stop us Why did life stand in our way Now it feels like chasing the sun Now I feel like chasing the sun I'm going to screw it up because I haven't done this song in a long time. Those days seem far away. How could the hands have moved so fast? I still feel much the same. Still innocent, yet wiser than the past. Top of the world, we thought that no one could stop us. Why did life stand in our way? Now it feels like chasing the sun. Now I feel like chasing the sun. Top of the world, 
thought that no one could stop us. Why did life stand in our way? Now it feels like chasing the sun. Now I feel like chasing the sun. Have you seen where I've been? Have you seen where I'm going to? Going to? And there you go. That's Chasing the Sun from my album, Ribbed for Your Pleasure. Um, and I wrote that a long time ago, and I don't play it very often anymore, but I thought I'd bring it out for you guys. People often ask me about the, the, the lines in the little bridge section there. Um, have you seen where I've been? Have you seen where I'm going to? And they go, what does that mean? And I have to say, I don't know. <laughs> really, because I just thought the chords were cool, and those were the words that popped into my head, and that is the only part of the song that honestly has no meaning to it that I could discern. It probably does in the larger structure, but... Uh, who knows? Anyway, you put the meaning on it that you want it to be. That's what I say. So, uh, uh, I'm not, uh, I don't have any shows this week. I'm taking the week off, do some 4th of July, do some barbecuing, hang out with my girlfriend, hang out with my new puppy. And, uh, but next week I will be back on the road. Next Wednesday the 11th, you can find me at Tommy T's Comedy Club in San Francisco. And then Friday night the 13th, you can find me at... Uh, Mickey and Mike's Sports Bar in Copperopolis, California. For all the people watching who are in Copperopolis, I didn't know anything happened in Copperopolis, uh, frankly. I, I've passed through it, I've driven by it, but I didn't know anything happened there. So I'm playing a sports bar gig in Copperopolis, so you just never know where the cool gigs are going to be. It'll probably be a blast. So anyway, uh, Wednesday 11th, Tommy T's Comedy Club in San Francisco, Friday the 13th. Mickey and Mike Sports Bar in Copperopolis, and you can check me out there. You can get all my dates, philjohnsoncomedy.com, click on the little tour dates button, and it's right there. Let's dig into the next tune. Uh, this is a, is a newer song uh, that hasn't been recorded yet, hasn't been released yet. It's right here. I've played it a few times. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, because um, uh, it's not my favorite song that I've written, but I think it's, it's pretty good, so I'm going to play it for you guys. You tell me what you think. Uh, this is a song about commitment and uh, love and, and pain. I would do anything, anything for you Battle great armies, or capture the stars But if there's one thing I can ask you for Don't ask me to go shopping anymore Cause I hate waiting by the lip fitting room in ladies' lingerie And I mean I'm in the department, not actually wearing the lingerie And I hate when you catch me staring at tags cause the models look like whores Don't ask me to go shopping anymore You ask my opinion Two shirts on the rack I tell you my preference And you put that one back I really didn't give a damn before Don't ask me to go shopping anymore Because you're blind to the huge pile of clothes That's weighing down my arms And every time we walk near the doors we're setting up alarms And if you pile on even one more thing I'm declaring fashion wars Don't ask me to go shopping anymore We do a little dance where you put it all back And it looks like we're gonna leave we're headed for the door, the moment I've been waiting for And that's when you start to grieve Oh, the pain I can smell freedom And it smells just like the food court So we have to go around and collect it all again Then you're back in the dressing room The sales girl asks if I'm needing any help And I feel she can sense my doom And I say, please Help me escape I need fresh air And masculine clothing And she says No, no, no I'm under orders To lock down the store 
should a man ever try to escape? Standing near stacks of panties, holding your purse. It's a little bit tricky to not feel perverse. I'd rather inhale black mold fungal spores. Don't ask me to go shopping anymore. I'd rather boil myself in gravy than spend another minute in Old Navy. Don't ask me to go shopping anymore. And there it is. That one is called Don't Ask Me to Go Shopping Anymore. And like I said, that's an unreleased tune. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Could end up on my next album. Could be end up as a single. Not sure. Speaking of new singles, next week, hopefully next week, uh, if not the week after, but hopefully next week, I will be releasing a brand new single. Um, it's a song uh, that I've been working on for a long time in the studio, and I really think it's going to be cool. So I will perform that song uh, next Monday here, and the release will be happening Monday or Tuesday, probably. And uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be, there's a great story that goes along with the song and all that kind of stuff. If you want to get it, like the second it comes out, make sure you go to philjohnsoncomedy.com and sign up on the little, the little uh, thing. There's a form on the right side of the site that will get you an entire album worth of free songs from me. And also, I will send you an email about the new song that's coming out next week. It's a good one. You're going to dig it, especially if you're a geek. You're going to dig it. It's really cool. So... One more tune before we go. It's time for the public domain cover of the week. And uh, this is a song called uh, called Old Dan Tucker. Uh, that actually, this one goes back to the mid-1800s. Uh, like, like 1840s, 1850s. So quite a bit younger than the other, or younger. Quite a bit older than the other songs I've done, which have been from the 1920s. Uh, and this one has a very sort of mixed up history as a lot of songs from that period do where the history is just kind of all over the place people have devised a ton of different verses for it I got to know the song on on uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen's uh, Seeger Sessions album that I a lot of there's a, if you haven't heard that album it's really fantastic make sure you get it and he did old Dan Tucker and I really liked his version my version's a little bit different but it's one of those songs where there's like a thousand verses that have just been written and passed on through oral tradition over the years and it's a song that kind of started uh, with the, the slaves in the south They're, they think that maybe that's kind of where the song started four or five different people have actually laid claim to writing the song but it's never really been proven so it's one of those cool old folk songs that just nobody really knows where it came from and yet it's you know 150 170 years here and we're still playing it and people are still doing versions of it so it's pretty cool this one's called old dan tucker and actually i'm going to do one of the verses that springsteen did not do but that i found on uh, on the net for this song and it's a little there was some racy eh, there was some racy verses and this is going to be one of the racy verses in there so you see if you can figure out which one it is i'm sure you'll be able to figure it out Washed his face with the frying pan, combed his hair with a wagon wheel, died with a toothpick in his heel. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker, y'all too late to get your supper. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker, y'all too late to get your supper. Well, old Dan Tucker, he come to town, riding a Philly gold tape down. I'm gonna rock the Philly dog jump, landed old Tucker in a stump. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker, y'all too late.
go, old Dan Tucker. We're a little bit over our time tonight, 16 minutes instead of 15. Didn't mean to keep you longer. Anyway, like I said, every Monday night here at 8 p.m. on Ustream, 8 p.m. Pacific, Phil Johnson's Phil's Fast 15, bringing out the tunes, bringing out the stories. Find me at philjohnsoncomedy.com, Facebook slash Phil Johnson Comedy, and go to the Facebook, see the picture of my puppy, awesome. And then next week, show up, and I will be playing that brand new single for you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.